So, in this chapter, we will learn about sensors. So, sensors are device dependent. So, you have to to know your device in order to be able to detect what are the sensors that are available or not. And sensors produce raw data. So, it means that you have to interpret the result of your sensors. So, many sensors can be available on the, the devices. Accelerometer, gyroscope, uh, rotation sensor, or something like temperature barometers, maniometers, and so on, and so on, and so on. Since we can be in any kind of Android device we want, we can plug any kind of um, sensor, and we have to manage them. So to manage them, there is the sensor framework, and the sensor framework have a sensor manager that helps to calibrate uh, and detect constants, and then you can manipulate the sensor, which is an instance of a sensor, and then every time the sensor will produce information, a sensor event will be uh, launched, and so you can then have a listener on this sensor event, uh, on the sensor event. So if you first want to list all the sensors that are available on your phone, you just get the sensor service, and then you can have a loop, walking the list of sensors that has been grabbed through the get sensor list, and then display it. Okay, and then these sensors are uh, classified in two, in two types, gyroscope, acceleration, gravity, or all. So, if you want to use the light sensor, for instance, we can build this small activity, and this small activity will just grab the sensor service and then get the sensor which is type light. Okay, and then we can override on accuracy change to do something if something happens. We can also fix the on sensor change and grab the looks value and display it to the user. And during the on resume, we have to know that every time we want to be notified by a sensor, we have to register the current class or the class will be, which receives the element for some sensor event. Okay, and during the on pause, we have to unregister. Otherwise, we may have a lot of applications that are stacked inside of our of our uh, application of our operating system. And if every of these applications use sensor, it will have a lot of events that are triggered and launched and so on. So we have to stop the the notification for uh, the sensor. So if we want to use the motion sensor, it uh, works the same. We just have to note that uh, Y is the horizontal, the vertical free uh, axis. Uh, Z is this one, and X is this one, and Z is this one. And then we can have a look to unsensor change that provide information for X in even that value zero, Y in even dot value one and z in even value two. So, as for the external memory, sensor may be available or not. I mean that I can plug some sensor inside of my phone, which is not necessarily a phone, but can be as complex as I want. So I have to check and to detect sensor at runtime, and to do that. I just ask for the sensor service, and is there, is there a sensor of type pressure, and do something. Okay. So finally, do not forget to declare in Android manifest.xml that you will use some sensor, and multiple sensors are available, but you have to to consider that this sensor can be broken. So they may not uh, provide you information. So you have to deal with that. And all sensors have the same interface, so you can manipulate with some abstractions. <laughs>